if each of you could introduce yourself, tell us your name, tell us your latest book and tell us what you've been doing for the last um, 20 years, just a brief 30 second introduction so we could hear you. Uh, and let's go in order, just so there's an order. We can go Ocean, Hope, Will, Charles. All right, well, thank you so much for being here. Everybody who is here right now, I just wanna thank you for your time, your attention, your presence. This is, I think, one of the most important conversations there is to have right now. You know, we have a, we have a health crisis and uh, it's time to do something about it. You know, the U.S. spends 18% of its gross domestic product on disease symptom management. Uh, we're eating ourselves into sickness and misery and we're destroying the planet and at the same time. So thank you for learning how to, you can do something different so you can help yourself thrive and you can be a part of the solution on planet Earth. I'm Ocean Robbins and um, I'm actually organizing right now the Food Revolution Summit. My dad and I, my dad is John Robbins and a best-selling author and we're going to host about 300,000 people for the online summit starting in 11 days and Paul McCartney is kicking it off. So super excited about that. So I've just been working all day trying to spread the word and get people engaged and yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks. And, and, I, and I'm really excited that this conference is happening right now. I, I've gotten to be there uh, live in person in previous years, I think a couple of times, Steve. And uh, uh, so, yeah, I was really honored to get to join in again right now virtually and just thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Hope Bohannock. I'm honored to be on this panel with uh, such wonderful, uh, esteemed um, fellow fighters uh, for, the, for the planet. Uh, and I have written the book, uh, The Ultimate Betrayal, Is There Happy Meat? And I actually, you said latest book, I, I just put in a manuscript for a book that will be coming out. It's an anthology, uh, a kind of a continuation of the same theme. My focus is on uh, the ethics of animals as well as the environmental impact of the animals that we eat, the farmed animals, and uh, the humane hoax, what I call the humane hoax, uh, this new uh, labels that we're seeing, the free range, cage free, all of that. Uh, and you know the, the, the response to our good work that we've been doing by the industry and wanting to uh, be sure that we're, we're learning as much as we can about that as well and those new labels. And I uh, have, uh, have an anthology coming out. Uh, so that will be coming out by Lantern Publishing uh, in the spring. Uh, it feels like forever, but that's how these things go with books. Uh, I also have my nonprofit, Compassionate Living, uh, that I do the Humane Hoax Project, the Ahimsa Living Project, and I have my podcast. Uh, I just started a, a pandemic podcast because all my in-person events just, you know, <laughs> went away. So I was like, I've got to do something. What can I do? So I started a podcast, the Hope for the Animals podcast. I uh, just put out uh, my 55th episode, and uh, we're going to have a nice Earth Day episode coming up on the 15th. So you should check that out the Hope for the Animals podcast, wherever you get your podcasts. And I'm just very happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, yes, it's great to be here. This is Dr. Will Tuttle. And uh, I'm honored to be again, part of the Real Truth About Health conference. Thanks everyone, as Ocean and Hope have said for joining in. This is an extremely important conversation to have, especially now with the um, issues that we're having in the world. And I'm probably best known as the author of the World Peace Diet, looking at the big picture of the consequences of our routine mistreatment of animals for food and other products, not only the environmental and economic and political dimensions, but going deeper into the psychological and social and spiritual and religious dimensions. And I think that's really uh, important nowadays to understand what deep veganism is and to go beyond a, sort of a shallow understanding of things to try to see the deeper dynamics that are at play. So uh, we've tried to uh, spread this message. Madeline and I have been doing quite a bit of traveling. Actually, we just get back from a four and a half month lecture tour throughout the Southern states of the United States. And I hosted last fall, the Worldwide Vegan Summit for Truth and Freedom trying to interconnect the uh, vegan movement and the truth and freedom movements. And I think to see the bigger picture of what's really happening on our planet right now, uh, and it requires us to use all dimensions of our uh, wisdom, our rationality and our intuition. So thanks so much for joining us. Hi, um, I'm Charles Horn. Uh, I'm also excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Um, I wrote the book, uh, Meat Logic, 
why do we why do we eat animals? And it's a book that um, is kind of looking at the subject uh, uh, of morality from a logic point of view. And so the whole point of the book is kind of by the end of it, it's, it, it should be absolutely clear that the vegan position, the animal rights position is the logical one and it's, it's a non-vegan position that is a, a real logical mess. Um, and <laughs> that, I mean, that it, it's, I mean, that's just the truth. So um, also what I do is uh, I'm a writer uh, in Hollywood. And um, so a lot of um, stuff that I'm working on these days, you haven't seen yet, um, but, but if I'm ever successful at it, it'll be a big deal because it's, you know, it'll be something in pop culture and get really wide exposure. So I'm working on trying to get, um, uh, you know, shows that have, vegan main characters that have a vegan message and but but that are still completely mainstream and and something that anybody would want to watch okay thank you um ocean could you just tell us a little bit more about this food revolution it's a very big deal and uh it has a lot of the speakers that we've had and other speakers it's a really amazing event that i watch and i've uh purchased so do uh, you want to just take a moment and just let everyone know so that they understand how big an event this is? Sure. Well, we're gathering about 300,000 people. So I think this could be the largest gathering of food revolutionaries in history. And uh, there are a lot of speakers coming. Uh, to, it's, it's a virtual event. And um, my dad and colleague, John Robbins, many of you know of his work. He, he's written best-selling books like Diet for a New America and The Food Revolution. And uh, so he interviews 24 leading food experts and I kind of host all the interviews and it's kicked off uh, with a welcome message from, as I mentioned, Paul McCartney. And um, yeah, we're, it, it's, um, it's a really deep conversations about all of the dimensions of food and health. Our mission is healthy, ethical and sustainable food for all. And, um, you know, we're looking at, you know, what are the latest breakthroughs? What are the latest insights? And how does food connect us, not just to our own personal lives, but also to the larger realities in our world today. So um, I, I'm really excited about this, you know, because food is, is super personal. What you eat literally becomes you, but it's also political and social. It's a chance to take a stand and make a statement for the kind of world that you want to impact, you know? And so we look at all of those dimensions and look at what the studies say and what, look at what the research says. And, um, and it's, there's something really powerful about gathering so many people all at once. I, I think that the, the plant-based movement is taking off right now in some pretty exciting ways. I mean, we, we see so much that's wrong and broken and painful in our world right now. But one thing that gives me so much hope is all the people who are rising up and saying enough is enough. Let's be the change. Let's make a change. And it's showing up with, you know, fast food restaurants serving, you know, plant-based options. You know, Burger King's flagship London restaurant is going completely vegan for a month as a pilot for taking their, their entire menu 50% plant-based in the next eight years. And, you know, McDonald's is testing out the McPlant. And all this is happening not because these companies suddenly have had an epiphany and we're like, oh my gosh, we're destroying the planet and torturing animals. Let's do something different. Like, no, they're, they're making money at it, right? And the point is that there's money to be made and that's because consumers are changing their buying behavior. And that has a lot to do with the awakening that's happening, the, the learning that's happening, that the, that the truth is getting out, that, that food can be medicine or it can be poison. And that, that, and that the standard American diet is really sad and it's, it's really toxic. And so Food Revolution Summit is a place as is this for us to come together with kindred spirits and learn the latest breaking insights and then feel the revolution alive and well and growing in the world. So yeah, you can go to foodrevolutionsummit.org if you wanna register, but of course, don't do that right now, stay here with us, but you can write it down and go there later. Again, foodrevolutionsummit.org. John, can you bring that website up on the screen for a quick minute? Foodrevolutionsummit.org, so we can just show everyone quickly what it is. <clears throat> So just direct us, uh, Ocean. Just oh yeah, close. The, click that X right there. Get rid of that little uh, that, that little pop up. There we go. Oh, you're on the main website here. You went to foodrevolution.org, but click on the save your free spot there. See, see the save your free spot down to the right, if you can. 
There we go. So yeah, this is the website for the actual summit at foodrevolutionsummit.org. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see there's Paul McCartney. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's what's coming up. And uh, we look at the uh, all that's all that's going on and how high the stakes are and why it's so urgent. And these are some of the speakers that we'll be interviewing for this year's summit. Okay, so the website again is Food Revolution summit.org yeah revolutions exactly. okay all right good thank you ocean and what we're doing what we're doing this jordan why don't you bring up um hope's website for a second also just so she could send us send people to her to sign up which website is it hope well which one i've got numerous let's see <laughs> Pick um, one. you can do my podcast let's do my podcast i'm i'm, I'm into my podcast these days okay. so hope for the animals podcast.org I also have my organization, compassionate-living.org, whichever is whatever you want to do. <laughs> Let's do the podcast if you like, okay? Sure. Okay, just direct us. What should we see here? Oh, if you, uh, uh, well, scroll down, you can see uh, the latest podcasts right here, the recent episodes. Uh, you know, there's uh, listener comments. <laughs> Uh, there's, if you go to the, uh, drop down menu at the top that says episodes, like the menu that's, yeah, that's where you can get, if, if you want something specific, like around the environment, since it's earth day, click on the environment one perhaps, and then you have, you'll get all the podcasts that are environmental focused. Uh, so you can go back in time and, and, uh, look at those podcasts. And I've had a lot of speakers that we've, we've seen actually, uh, at, at this conference, um, Silesh Rao, some others. Uh, so um, yeah, hope you can check out the podcast. And did, does it cost money to sign up for this? No, no, absolutely not. All it, free. All so free. We, where it says sign up, we sign up? Well, that's to get uh, on the e-news list. So uh, when I have a new episode that drops, I send out uh, that episode to you via email. So you'll know there's a new episode. Okay, so we could all hit the sign up if we want, or the name, the website address again is what? Uh, hope for the animals podcast.org. Okay, we'll click the sign up. Okay, thank you. And why don't we just quickly go to Will's website just so we could show us what he's got going on there so we could take a quick look and people can sign up to stay involved if they like. Yeah, worldpeacediet.com, probably the easiest. Okay, yeah. direct us. Yeah, so actually you can, um, you can look at the um, uh, essays is my some various essays I've written. You can look at videos that we've just been putting up. We've got lots of different writings, the book, all the different books, edu educate others. <laughs> There's lots of different things, which is our, tr our online training, the World Peace Diet Training Program. If people want to go deeper with this and our upcoming events, we, we do lecture tours throughout the year. So there's downloads, there's lots of different things. Our music and our art down farther down and our daily veg inspiration for the day. You can sign up for that where you get something every single day into your inbox. You can sign up there. It's a, a inspiration from the vegan movement from my writings. So uh, in the pre different presentations, yeah. So there's lots of different things. And we put our name and email and we get, a fr and we get on your email list? Yeah, right, yeah, you can be on our email list. Okay. So what's this website again? Worldpeacediet.com or my name, willtuttle.com will take you pretty much the same place. Okay. And for everyone, if you go to our website, to the bio of these people and click on it, it'll take you to their information as well. Uh, Charles, do you have a website for us to look at? Um, if you want to, I mean, the, the two, I, I mean, obviously the book page, but also I have, I'm on uh, Medium if anybody wants to um, go there. It's, it's mostly uh, articles that I've written about veganism, but it's not all. So it's a, just a mix of, of writing. And uh, the, the first one there, the six surefire ways, that's, that's my favorite. So definitely look at that one and share it because it's very shareable. So how do we get to this? We go to what website? Where do we go into Medium? Yeah, Medium is the, is the name of the website and, um, and then and I'm on it. So it's uh, charleshorn.medium.com. Okay. Uh, 